Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey here, once again with another video on The Flash Season 4. So just quickly, I don't know if you can tell in my voice, I really can't tell at the moment, I just know I'm sick, so I don't know if my voice is going to come off that way on the uh, audio and stuff like that, so if you're wondering if I do sound a bit weird, it's just because I'm a bit sick, I've got a bit of a cold going on, so yeah, just in case anyone's wondering. So obviously we had the finale for The Flash Season 3 last week, which answered some questions that us, the audience, had in regards to Savitar and his actions. But we also had a lot of questions that went unanswered, which have a lot of people confused and could be seen as one of the reasons that this finale was seen as, you know, like a, a bit of a disappointment, a bit of a letdown, if you know what I mean. One of these confusing moments that wasn't really addressed revolved around Wally West, aka Kid Flash and his powers. In episode 21 of this season, we saw Team Flash attempt to stop Barry from forming any, you know, new memories for a certain amount of time, which in turn would also stop Savitar from knowing what would happen during that period, seeing that he was a future version of Barry. But of course, what we saw happen was Barry's complete memory erased, which erased Savitar's memory as well. One big thing that this had an effect on was Wally West, as he ended up losing his abilities due to Barry's memory loss, as Savitar lost all of his memories, and in this loop, wouldn't have known all the details that led him to giving Wally's powers, or giving Wally his powers, sorry, in the first place, back in episode 6 or six and 7 of this season. like It's split over those two episodes. In the finale though, we saw Savitar killed and erased, which you would think would have the same effect as the memory loss, you know, to the timeline for Wally at least, but it didn't. So why is that? Well, that's what we're going to be going over in the rest of this video, just in case anyone is still confused on this and you don't know why he didn't lose them and stuff like that. Now, just a heads up, some of you might know that I am actually going to see Wonder Woman. So, I'll actually be seeing Wonder Woman on the night of when this video goes up. So, my videos usually go up 5am Australian time, so my time. I don't sit up and upload them at 5am, but that's when I set them to go live. So, tonight, from when this video is going up, I will be seeing Wonder Woman. Um, I'm not too sure when the embargo is. I think it's the next night, so I won't be able to upload my review straight away. I will be reviewing it, like recording my review straight after I see it but I won't be able to upload it straight away. I have to wait a day or something just because there is an embargo. If you don't know what an embargo is, it's basically a, like a set time in which a, a review cannot be uploaded beforehand. So like when people get video games early and stuff like that, they have to wait till a certain date till they can release their review. And if you, you know, release it early, you're breaking embargo, you can face some penalties if you want to call them that. So yeah, just expect it then. But uh, it should be up like maybe the day after from whenever I upload this video or something like that. But yeah, it will be my next video. That's what I'm saying. Now, obviously, back to the topic at hand. But this isn't as in-depth as you may think. But if I, in your opinion, have like misinterpreted this incorrectly, you know, please let me know in the comments section down below. Or even if you have some like minor tweaks, if you know, to my explanation, then feel free to let me know in the comments section down below as well. So in episode 21, as we've mentioned earlier, obviously when Barry had his complete memory wiped uh, accidentally by Cisco, that actually like temporarily altered Savitar's past as well as his goals and motivations. So due to this, Savitar could no longer do something, seeing that he could no longer remember it in this closed loop of his. So due to this, he forgot to do everything that led up to Wally getting his speed, which obviously includes Wally actually getting speed as well, you know, when he touched the Philosopher's Stone and like, and everything like that. Now, if Savitar had been killed or erased from the timeline at that point in time by Team Flash, like when he's, you know, all the memories were gone, all of the Flashpoint metahumans that were given powers by Savitar through Dr. Alchemy, through the Philosopher's Stone, would have lost them and lost them permanently. And obviously that includes Wally. But as we saw play out, Barry regained his memories towards the end of episode 21, in turn allowing Savitar to regain his memories, giving Wally his powers back. But why didn't Wally lose his powers when Savitar died, similar to when his memories were lost? Aren't they like basically the same thing? Well, this is because Savitar was killed and erased after the memories were regained by Barry. The reason Wally remains a speedster is because Savitar remembered to, you know, give them to him as part of his plan to get out of the Speed Force prison, which we saw play out back in episode 15. Because Savitar was in like a closed loop where you were stuck with the whole who came first situation or the chicken and the egg situation, all of his actions in this timeline are permanent. They won't be erased due to his death. So Wally still has his powers, HR is still dead, Julian remembers that he was Dr. Alchemy and all the Flashpoint metahumans that are still alive have their powers still. 
But as I said, if he were killed or erased during episode 21 when he had that memory loss thing play out, it would be a completely different story. Savitar throughout time would have no idea how things played out, all of his actions wouldn't have occurred, and Wally's powers would cease to exist. But thanks for watching guys, as I said it's not as in depth as you think it needs to be, but if you do have any other questions surrounding this or you do have any like, you know, queries or you have some corrections to anything I've said, please leave them in the comment section down below because I would like to read them because this is my best understanding of why Wally still has his powers. It's because basically everything I mentioned before, it's because Savitar still remembered, it's and um, everything still played out as he wanted it to until he was killed. So yeah, if you do have any other questions, just let them uh, put them in the comment section down below and I'll try to get back to you. And as I said earlier, my Wonder Woman review will be my next video. It will be no spoilers. I probably won't do a spoiler review for it. I might, I just don't know if I will. It'll just, you know, be a basic non-spoiler review. So yeah, keep your eyes out for that. I'm, ex I'm extremely excited to see the movie. I've been waiting for it for a while and it's awesome that I do have the opportunity to go actually go see it early. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. But until the next video, guys, I'll catch you later. Goodbye.